guys, I hope you're doing well. This is New Dot Prime, a day cup of king. Welcome to my latest Rick Skin, and this Rick Skin focuses on Dead or Alive 6, and it focuses on Season 4's Nova Battlesuit, uh, Sci Fi ba Battlesuit. So I hope you enjoy this. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now to the main video. Enjoy! Dead or Alive 6 has a history with DLC and being so expensive for what little you get. And season 4 seems to be no different. For 30 quid, you can get 20 battle costumes. 20 cyber battle costumes. Is that worth it? I don't think so. I'm not going to do what I normally do and go in, in depth to every costume. Because every costume is just a recolor. That's like 5 simple costumes and they're all recolors. It's so cheap, and you're paying so much for something for nothing. Is that fair? No. The only costume that is any different is Zach's battle costume, which looks like a Teletubby. Very simple. It looks like a Teletubby, and I like the texture. It's nice and shiny. I like the glowing lights, and I like the heart on his chest. I even like the goggles. This suits the, sort of the stupidness of Zack, and I like it. But the fact that there's three of them, uh, and they're all just the same, slightly different colours. Other than that, this is the best out of the lot, and the most different. Even if you wanted to buy these separately, normally most costumes cost two tickets. But these costumes cost three tickets. So if you wanted to buy Zach's costume, it would cost you nine tickets. Is that worth it? No! To be fair, even two tickets is way too much. That's like eight quid, for, uh, if I remember correctly. Was it four quid? I can't remember. But I remember it being quite a lot. More than I would want to pay. And as the name and the subject of this video, Break the Skin, this series, it shows you that I like skins. I like collecting skins. I like buying skins. Like I'm really looking forward to the Killer Croc Baraka skin in Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, but those skins are worth the price. These skins are not. Most of these skins all look the same. Uh, there's like uh, three or four different designs. And only the rare one has something different, like, like this one has the visor. The only one with the visor. I wish there was more skins like that, where they had something extra. Something different, like the visor in this one. This costume is good. I like the colours, I like the design, and I like the visor. I wish more had little touches, like there's a skin that's slightly different colours. But mostly it's just one or two colours, and it's boring. There's nothing different to the next skin. The next skin's going to look exactly the same. The strange thing is, even though it is exactly the same, I actually like this one. It works with her hair and it works with her colours. It looks really good. I like just the way it works with her shape. It's very revealing. It looks similar to her spiked lever. But in the suit, it works really well. Which is an ex exception to most of them. Most of them don't because it's just a weak colour. Like up next you have Rachel and this just looks I like the colours though that blue is a little bit too garish for me. It just doesn't suit her. She's a revealing character so it should. But no, I don't like it. I don't like the mixture of colours and I don't like the way that they're used. Next up we have the Cyber Kitten look. This look it works with some of them, but it doesn't work with this character. This character, I don't know, it just doesn't work. I do like the, the flashing lights on some of the uh, bits, but it just looks a little bit, I don't know, it's just not that good, in my opinion. Like this one, I actually like. I like the use of purples, and I like the pinks. It works with her hair, and it works with her skin. And I like the black. It really does work with this character, but others it do not work so much. And I like the way the lights flash. 
with this one this one's boring i like the flashing lights again but the red stands out and overpowers the pink and the pink just gets lost in the background and the pink is the bit that glows but that red visor is just too much the next one is horrible as well i don't like that bright yellow and even the light yellow on the arms that glow it don't look good it just doesn't work i really don't like this one the next one is another cyber cat look but the ears but no tail this time i really don't like the green on this one and the lights don't gl they glow but they don't flash like the others but with this one the arm the lights glow on the arms and i like that i like the colors i like the use of the purples and the pinks and i like the white but the white gets a bit lost it works with this character this character it looks good but others it doesn't like the one before and the one after i actually like me good one i like the white and i like the blue and even the black it works with this character she's cute and it works well but it's one of the few that it does work with like this one the yellow and the uh, red and the black those are our normal colors and work really well but it doesn't work i don't know it's just not quite right there's not enough there to actually like i really don't like this blue the dark blue doesn't work in my opinion it just looks horrible it just looks cheap and nasty the next up is a more detailed look it's more like christie's normal look i don't like it i don't like the purple i don't like the way it, it just doesn't suit her next up we have the tengu with a similar similar costume but this one is mainly black and white there is no extra co colors there's a hint of yellow but only just a hint which is odd there's not enough color on this one and I, even the glasses i like them they're different next up is another that i actually like i like this one i like the dark green and the, gr the glowing green it works really well and i like the cut of the outfit it works on the character it gives her attitude and it gives her style this one i really like the colors i like the gold i like the orange i like the red and it works it gives it a fiery effect and it looks different enough to really like so now that you've had a look at all the costumes what am i going to rate these i didn't do it the normal way because it was a bit hard because they are all basically the same yes there's one or two that look good but i'm going to give it a four four out of ten because they are all recolors they are all the same Games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter give you unique original costumes for each character and make them cheap. This one you get really expensive for the same generic costume for each character and that's boring and dull and unimaginative. Like games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter, I happily buy every single costume they make because each one's different. It's not a recolor. But these it's not worth the money the season pass which is like 60 70 quid no none of the season passes for this game have been worth it yes you get a character and the costumes but is that worth it is it worth like um 20 costumes for 30 pounds no that's why i would not buy this this isn't the season pass but it's part of it in my opinion all the DLC for um, Dead or Alive 6 isn't worth it. Yes, I like the extra characters, but that's it. I don't like all the costumes, and it's very generic, and they're all copies. They're all recolors, which is boring. So if you enjoyed this, if you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. There are many more right skins, and many more DLC 8 videos. 8, I mean 6. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this, then please like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video guys. Bye for now.